just want to say thank you for making our devotional time together a part of your day. I'm so thankful and ever so grateful for these beautiful moments that we get to spend together as we read from our devotional, God's Big Idea. I'm Auntie Kay, and today is October 28th, and our title is God's Plan for You. And our scripture text is coming to us from Psalm 40, verse 5, which says, Your plans for us are many. If I tried to tell them all, there would be too many to count. There has always been a plan. When God created our world, he planned for everything to be good and for everyone to be happy. When Adam and Eve sinned and rejected that plan, God had a plan to redeem the world. He would send his son to take our punishment for us. When Jesus came to the earth, he was following God's plan. From the beginning, God has wanted us to know about his plan. The Bible tells us many stories about God's plan for different people and what happened when they followed the plan or didn't follow it. God had a plan for Noah. Noah did everything that God commanded him and his family was saved on the ark. God had a plan for Abraham. God made an agreement with Abraham and promised to bless him with many descendants. And Abraham discovered that nothing is too hard for the Lord. God had a plan for Moses. Even though Moses had all kinds of excuses for not following God's plan, God patiently taught him to be a great leader. God had a plan for Samuel and Elijah and Isaiah. They said yes, they would be God's prophets. And they faithfully spoke God's words to his people. And God has a plan for you. God wants you to know how much he loves you. He wants you to share what love and that love with others. He wants you to choose to follow his plan. And guess what? His plan is the best one. And why is that? Because he created us. So that means he knows everything about us and everything that he wants for us to do. So if you're trying to figure out what is my talent, what is my gift, how can I be used for God? Just go to the Creator, who is our Heavenly Father, because He's the one who created you and gave you the desires to want to be a follower of Him, to be a minister for Him, to be a missionary for Him. God, indeed, has a plan for all of us. So let's go to Him to ask Him what it is that He'd want for us to do. Thank you for spending these beautiful moments with me as I read from our devotional, God's big idea.